Dear students, today I will discuss on the topic Leonard Wizard's potential from module 3 antenna radiation mechanism. Okay, in previous class we have discussed about the retarded potential for which we consider a uniform charge and current distributions moving through space in a prescribed trajectory. Now, if we limit the uniform charge distribution to a point charge. We can also find another electromagnetic potential known as Leonard Wizard potential. So, the Leonard Wizard potential are also scalar and vector potential produced by a moving point source. So, in order to find the expression for Leonard Wizard potential, we have to start with uh, retarded potentials. So, retarded scalar potential is given by phi r comma t should be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught integration over the volume tau rho r prime dias t minus mod of r minus r prime vector divided by c and divided by mod of r minus r prime vector d tau and i can write this equation is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught integration over volume tau rho r prime t minus r by c divided by r d tau retarded vector potential also can be written like this r t mu naught by 4 pi integration of the bone tau t tau and z of r prime t minus mod of r vector r prime divided by c and divided by mod of r minus r prime vector d tau and in this case also i can write mu naught by 4 pi integration over the volume tau z r prime t minus r by c divided by r d tau and i can write this equation number one and i can write this equation number two <coughs> where r is equal to mod of r vector minus r prime vector however these two integrals uh, it is very difficult to evaluate these two integrals because the time that is t prime equal to t minus r by c is not fixed and hence the volume, integ volume of integration also. So in order to remove this difficulty while evaluating these integrals we have to applied one dimensional Dirac delta functions one dimensional Dirac delta functions having the properties like del of x equal to 0 if x does not equal to 0 and infinity if x equal to 0 and number 2 integration of minus infinity plus to infinity del x of dx should be equal to 1 and number 3 f of x del 
of x minus a should be equal to f of a into del x minus a and then number four integration form minus infinity to plus infinity f of x del of x minus a dx should be equal to f of e so in this i mean say there are delta function the function f of x is regular regular continuous and differentiable function of x with this delta function now i can write equation number one two and for convenience i can write all this together equation number three with this i mean the delta function uh, i can write equation number one and two is phi of r comma t equal to one by four pi epsilon naught integration over the volume tau uh, integration from minus infinity to plus infinity then the row of r prime uh, t prime t prime is the retarded time and del of del of uh, t prime minus t minus r by c divided by r into d tau d prime i can write in this way and i can write this equation number four and similarly a r vector should be equal to mu naught by 4 pi integration over volume tau the integration from minus infinity to plus infinity z of r prime t prime and del of t prime minus t minus r by c divided by r d tau into d t prime and i can write this equation number five And in these equations, now we can have, now we can have rho r prime and t prime into d tau should be equal to d q because this is volumes are density and uh, and d tau is the volume element so that I can write this will be d q and again j of r prime comma t prime should be equal to rho of r comma prime t prime into b t prime like this in this case rho is a volume star density and uh, uh, b is the velocity so here when we simplify uh, so rho and b we can find the dimension of the uh, current density so that i can write this to uh, products to be equal to the current density and uh, after that I can add again j r prime t prime d tau should be equal to rho r prime t prime b t prime into dt now in this case this and the product of this will be represent sir so that I can write dq into b prime uh, sorry b of t prime and I can write this equation number six. Equation number six, and uh, using these values, I can get another equations form. Equation number four and five. That is phi of r comma t is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught integration over volume tau and integration from minus infinity to plus infinity and dq del of t prime minus of t minus r by c divided by r d tau d tau dt prime and i can write this equation number sub a a of r comma t mu naught by 4 pi integration from over the top and integration from minus infinity to plus infinity and then b vector of t prime dq del of t prime minus t r c divided by r 
into d tau dt prime and I can write this equation number 8. Now if we limit these volume charges distribution uh, to a point source q now we can convene the right question number seven and eight like this phi of r comma t one by four pi epsilon naught and then i can hear q and integration from minus infinity to plus infinity del of t prime minus of t minus r by c divided by r dt prime and I can write this question number 9. Similarly, uh, I can write question number 8 also a vector of r comma t should be equal to mu naught q mu naught by 4 pi integration from minus infinity to plus infinity b vector of t prime del of t prime minus of t minus r by c divided by r into dt prime and I can write this as equation number 10. Now these integrals can be evaluated if we choose a new time t1 instead of t prime so that I can write T1 should be equal to T prime minus uh, T plus R by C. For convenience, now I can write, I can open this bracket so that I can this becomes plus and this also becomes plus. And so that I can write T1 is equal to T1 prime minus T plus R by C. So I can uh, differentiating with this equation with respect to T prime. I can write kind of 1 and plus 1 by C into dr by dt prime. For convenience, I can write this equation number 11 and I can write this equation number 2, 12. R square can be expressed as the R vector dot R vector and after differentiation with respect to T prime, I can write twice R dr by dt prime so that I can write R vector dot dr vector divided by dt prime plus r vector dot dr vector divided by dt prime and after simplification i can write dr divided by dt prime should be equal to r vector divided by r dot dr vector divided by dt prime <coughs> and i can write this as equation number 13 in order to find dr by dt prime now i can refer a figure here that is here i can draw it like this and this is the source q and this is the origin and this is the uh, r prime disposition vector and this is the point p uh, where the field is to be observed and r vector is the position vector of p so that i can write this will be uh, so r should be equal to r vector minus r prime and then if the point source q uh, moves i mean follow a trajectory a path in this way like this then then I can't write here B sorry B prime B of uh, dt prime and uh, I can write this R plus dr so in the figure I can repeat O is the origin and Q is the point source whose position vector is R prime and P is the point where the field is to be observed and R small r vector is the position vector of P so that uh, from q to p it is represented by r vector it should be equal to r vector minus r prime back then 
if the source move along this part, then I mean it covers a displacement B D T prime, then ultimately you can have such type of figure. In these figures, you can find uh, at this side we represent R vector plus dr vector. So from figure I can write from figure I can write I can write R vector should be equal to R plus dr plus b dt prime and and after the after differentiation i can write dr vector by dt prime should be equal to minus b vector minus b vector and using this value i can write equation 13 is i can write equation 13 is dr by dt prime should be equal to minus v vector dot r vector divided by small r and i can write for our convenience equation number 14 <coughs> and using equation number 14 using equation number 14 now i can write equation 12 is dt 1 divided by dt prime should be equal to 1 to minus b c b by c dot r vector divided by r after simplify i can write r minus uh, b vector dot r vector divided by c divided by small uh, sorry r then from this i can write this r is the scalar and this r is vector and uh, from this equation i can find dt prime should be equal to r dt1 divided by uh, r minus uh, b by c dot r like this and i can write this equation number 15. so using Equation number uh, 11, I have written already equation number 11 and equation number 15 in equation 9 and 10, I can write phi of r comma t should be equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught integration from minus infinity to plus infinity and then <coughs> del of t1 divided by r minus b vector dot r vector divided by c into dt1 so that i can write equation number 16 and similarly i can write a a of r comma t this will be equal to q mu naught by 4 pi integration from minus infinity to plus infinity and v of t prime del of t1 divided by uh, r minus b vector dot r divided by c into dt1 and i can write this equation number this equation number 17 equation number 17 now if i take t1 equal to 0 if i take this t1 equal to 0 and by using the property of dirac uh, say delta function now i can write phi of r comma t should be equal to uh, q by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon naught then 1 by r minus b vector dot c uh, sorry r vector divided by c at t1 equal to 0 and this could be written as equation number 18 and similarly i can write a vector of r comma t should be equal to i can write q mu naught by 4 pi and b by b vector divided by r minus b vector dot r vector divided by c 
this will be equal to 81 equal to 0 and I can write this equation number 19 but here t1 by t1 equal to 0 means that by t1 equal to 0 means that uh, uh, t prime minus t plus r by c equal to 0 so I can write t1 t prime should be equal to t minus r by c actually t prime equal to t minus r, r by c is nothing it is the retarded time so that equation number uh, 18 and 19 can be again again equation number 9 18 and 19 can be written is like this pi of r t q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by r minus b vector dot r back by c and should be retarded retard expression and i can write and similarly in this in the same way equation number 19 also can be written like this a of r t sub q mu naught by 4 phi b vector divided by r minus b dot r vector divided by c and this also retarded so these potentials are velocity dependent and were first uh, given by a linard and uh, e we search for moving point stars and after their name these equations are known as linard's wizard potentials Okay, let's stop for today. Thank you.